ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. I have a video for you today that's different than what I usually talk about, but it's um, something that might be helpful to you. So I'm gonna share with you how I clean my designer handbags. And the reason I decided to do this video is because I bought a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag off of a site called What Goes Around Comes Around. I purchased it off of their website, but I've also purchased other bags from that same dealer before. They authenticate Louis Vuitton bags and they also sell them at my Von Mauer store where I live. So Von Mauer hosts what goes around comes around and they bring in all their pre-loved Louis Vuitton bags and people can buy them secondhand. And um, it's great because you can go in there, you can actually look at the handbags, you can choose one that is, you know, the price points vary depending on how loved they were. And um, I found a really great bag recently, but I wanted to come home and clean it. The bag I chose was the Neverfull in the Damier Bean print. I've wanted one for years and I was doing research on them and I had heard that the quality of the new bags that Louis Vuitton is currently making isn't as great as the Louis Vuitton bags that they used to make in the Damier Abin print. So I decided to get mine pre-loved. And so I went to What Goes Around Comes Around and I found this bag for a significant savings. Um, and it is in really good shape. It looks like this. Um, this pattern and print, you really cannot see dirt and stains on, but I did want to give it a good, thorough cleaning. The inside is very clean already. Um, it doesn't have any odors or anything like that, and I think what goes around comes around does do a pretty decent job of cleaning them before they sell them. But nonetheless, I want to clean my bag. So I'm going to show you how I clean my Louis Vuitton bags. And then I have the monogram print um, that I also purchased pre-loved from what goes around comes around in the past. And it looks like this. And this has the Vachetta handles and underneath it. So I can show you, um, you know, again, this one is pretty clean already but um, I have cleaned this one before and I've never cleaned this one. I haven't really used this one. I got such a good deal on it, I decided to purchase it, but I probably won't be using it until the fall time because it's more fall colors. So this is the bag. And then I also have a lot of these little coach bags that are made of fabric and I have Safiano leather bags, but I'm not gonna do the Safiano leather bags today, like my Michael Kors bags. I thought I would do the two Louis Vuitton bags, and then I would show you how I clean a fabric bag like this one from Coach, because many of us have these bags, and these bags can get dirty. So let's just jump right in. And I'm going to show you what I have here. I have facial cleansing wipes, and you can use baby wipes that you would use to clean a baby's bottom with, too. They don't have anything on them except vitamin E, so um, there's nothing on these wipes. They're just moistened wipes, and you don't want to put anything on your bag that is any more wet or moist than, like, a wipe because you don't want to get your bag wet and risk cracking the canvas or the leather when it dries. You know, water can dry out your bag, so you don't want to use any water on your bag. Or if you do, you want it to be just as damp as a baby wipe. Then I have this Lexol Vinylex Protectant, and this is the original formula. It's for dashboards, rubber, and vinyl surfaces that you would clean your car with. And I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about this. It preserves the durability of leather, vinyl, and rubber surfaces. It penetrates below the surface to restore underlying plasticizers. And it's got UV protectant and helps for harmful, harmful sun rays and prevents fading and cracking. So I really like this product for cleaning the um, canvas on the Louis Vuitton bags. Um, I've used this before. I found out about this on a blog years ago and I've used it many times and it works really well. And the last thing is the Leather Care um, by Apple, the Apple brand product. It's a leather conditioner. It guards your leather with its life. And this says not to use it on suede or um, nubuck or napped leathers. So this is not for suede like leathers. 
and it's specifically formulated to gently clean, condition, and preserve finished exotic and simulated leathers. It's wax free. It removes surface dirt and provides water resistance to enhance the natural luster of leather without making masking its unique qualities and it's safe for all colors. It just says to shake well, test it on a hidden spot on your bag. I've already done that and it didn't do anything negative to my bag. Um, and then use a clean cloth and apply liberally, let dry and buff gently. I don't have any ink pen marks on my leather. I have read in a blog before and I've tried it on the inside of a coach bag before that if you have an ink mark what you should do first is treat that first and go in with just some alcohol on a little bit of a cotton a cotton round and get a little bit of alcohol and dab at the at the ink stain don't rub don't like go like this you're just going to dab it up to remove the stain that did help remove the ink from my bag it didn't remove it completely but it really lightened it up so much so that i didn't even really notice it anymore but you don't want to go like this because you don't want the ink to spread and you want to address ink stains first because you are going to be rubbing and doing this with the other cleaners so address any ink stains first okay i have one more product and this is for my coach bag the fabric bags and for the interior linings i had used car upholstery cleaner for fabric car upholstery in the past and i really liked that but I found something that I like even more, and this is an enzymatic cleanser, and this removes any kind of odors and stains that are like blood or any protein-based stain, and it also removes other stains. It's meant for carpet, but you can um, spray this foaming cleanser on the inside of your bag or on the outside of your bag before you clean it, and this does a wonderful job of cleaning fabrics. So I'm just gonna briefly go over and show you how I clean my bags. Let's, I'm gonna really do a good demo on the bag that I've never cleaned before. And then um, I'll just briefly show you the other bags and how I clean them. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I know I don't have any ink marks inside this bag. Um, the inside looks very clean. You can reverse this bag to clean the interior of it. And that's what I would recommend doing rather than putting your cleaner in it and then putting your head in the bag because there's fumes and you just want to make sure that you're well ventilated when you're cleaning your bag. So I'm gonna flip this inside out when I clean the interior of it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take a wet wipe. And like I said, these are facial wipes, they're generic. I just got them from Meyer, and they don't have anything on them except vitamin E. I don't want like any facial serum or any kind of weird, um, ingredients on these that I use on my skin because I don't know how that would be on the on the bag. So I wanted them to be as plain and simple as possible. And these are the same as the baby wipes. So you can use baby wipes as well. They're so slightly moistened that I'm not worried about them getting my bag wet or cracking the leather surfaces. So I just kind of pinch and go all the way around and then I get the sides too, like this out, outer part too. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go over it to show you how I do it. And now I'm just gonna clean the leaves. And again, go around the surface here in case there's any dirt or grime hiding in these cracks here. I wanna make sure I remove all of that. Same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna handle this portion here. The same thing, I'm just gonna go around it and get the exterior, like underneath it a little bit the best I can to make sure there's no dirt and grime hiding. Go through the length of the straps. Same way, the sides, the front, the back. This little guy here. I'm going to spread these apart and kind of clean the whole entire thing. My boys are playing a video game upstairs in the bonus room. You might be able to hear them. It was easier to film this 
in my dining room. Oh, and I have a, t a white towel down on my dining room table. So if you're putting any, any product on your bag, it won't get onto your furniture. So I just have an old white towel setting here that I'm setting the bag on. Okay, and I'm also just kind of doing the hardware with the baby wipe as well. My hardware is not this, um, it's not tarnished or anything. It's just that nice gold color and it's not tarnished in any way. So I'm not going to use any, um, you could use like a um, Tarnax or something if you've got the kind of bags that have like the tarnish on the lock. I think the new Louis Vuitton bags do not patina the hardware like the old bags did but you can shine up your hardware too. And I have not done that. I do have a Speedy 25 that has a lock that's tarnished. If you'd like to see me do my, my Speedy 25, that doesn't have a lining, it's an unlined bag, and it does have the lock that's tarnished. I'd be happy to make a video and show you how I do that. I've actually never done it, so I'd have to learn and we'd learn together. Okay. So I'm going through all the surfaces. So far my wipe is pretty clean because like I said, what goes around comes around does a really good job of kind of cleaning the bags before they sell them. This is the 2011 bag. So it's got the floor de -lis in it. They don't have that anymore. And it also has the Louis Vuitton written in script instead of printed in black print like the newer bags have. But this bag is incredibly well made and durable and there's no signs of anything wrong with it. So I'm really happy to get mine second hand. When I got my very first Louis Vuitton bag, I got my Speedy 25 for my 40th birthday. Back when the bag cost like $500, I think they're like 900 now. Um, and my husband bought it for me new. And um, I don't think I'd ever spend more than that. Well, I did spend more than that on this, but I, I don't think I would ever buy a full price Louis Vuitton bag again. Um, in fact, a company had asked me if I'd like to review a mirror image bag, which is um, a replica. And I told them that I do. And I asked them if they would send me this bag, but in the monogram print so I can compare it and I will measure everything. And if you're interested in that, watch for that video, it'll be coming up. Um, because I'm really curious, because when I got this bag, I was so excited. It's a recent purchase, so I told my girlfriend on the phone, I said, I got this Damier Abin Louis Vuitton bag. Um, I said, I really like it. I wish it had a zipper on the outside though for the price. I'm happy with it, but I paid full price. I don't think I would for this bag. I don't think I would. It doesn't have a zipper. It's kind of just a big shopping bag. And um, she said, and I said, and I see it everywhere I go. Whenever I go outside, everyone has a bag like this. She's like, yeah, but all of those are, <laughs> all of those are fakes. So I'm like, oh yeah, you're probably, I forget about that. And it's probably true. And this is the easiest bag to replicate I've read. So, um, so I thought some of you might be interested in seeing that video. So I'll have that for you if you are. Okay, so I've just gone over the whole bag with the wipe while I was chatting, and all I did is just do one of these. I just went over the whole bag. The bag, like I said, is not wet. I don't want it to be wet. I don't want it to crack. So it's pretty clean. Even the bottom of the bag, I didn't get anything off on my wipe. Nothing off on my wipe but I'm still gonna clean it anyways. And so I really like that this, I don't think I'm gonna be using this because this is the leather conditioner and this is the Damier Abin or Damier Abin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And it's got the coated leather here. So I'm gonna treat this more like vinyl or coated canvas like the rest of the bag. So what I do with this is I lay my bag down where you can see me. And I'm just going to put a few spritzes of it on my bag. And then I have a dampened microfiber wash rag. And like I said, it's just as damp as about a baby wipe. You can't wring it out. It's not wet, just damp. And now I'm gonna go over every surface of this bag with this to make sure that I'm putting the UV protectant on my bag and it's also cleaning my bag. So I'm just gonna carefully go over every part of the bag.
And like I said, this part is really important because you don't want to be breathing in the fumes. So you don't want to stick your head inside of a bucket bag to clean the interior. The best thing you can do is turn it inside out. My other Louis Vuitton bag is more of a north-south tote than an east-west, and this one I can't turn inside out. So I just have to be very careful cleaning the interior of this one. So I've got my bag inside out now, and as you can see, there's a flap here that I need to clean beneath, an inside pocket that I'll clean here. And um, the bottom of the bag looks pretty good. And um, I don't see any stains on it. I got really lucky with this bag. Um, I would really recommend what goes around comes around. I've also heard The Real Real is a really good pre-loved Louis Vuitton site if you're looking to get a pre-loved bag. And like I said, it, the price goes down if the bag is a little bit dirty. So don't let that intimidate you. You can clean the bag yourself at home. All right, so now I'm going to use my enzymatic formula, Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. This comes in a dog formula and it comes in a cat formula because it mostly removes proteins and things like that. But most dirt is a protein other than like ink pen and marks like that. It, this will, return, will remove makeup and things like that too. It has for me. So I just give it a good shake and this is a foam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the bottom because that is the part where everything sits in your bag and it's a foam. And I'm just gonna take another microfiber wash rag and it's just slightly moistened and I'm gonna just rub that into the surfaces and let that set for four or five minutes. And I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and treat the rest of the interior with this. And this has a fresh smell. So if your bag has any kind of odors, like some people store their bags for a long time before they sell them because they're just not sure they wanna sell them and it can get odors from being stored and things like that. So I'm getting beneath the flap really good, especially, especially where it meets the pocket where grime and dirt can hide. I'm gonna get, get it everywhere. And once it's on the bag, I'm just taking my microfiber cloth and just blending it in to make sure it's all covered. I'm gonna let it set for four or five minutes. I've got the interior pocket. The interior po pocket is like vinyl or plasticky. It's not the same thing as this. It's not fabric. So I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and go in there and wipe it out. Again, mine is really pretty clean, but you just do this as many times as you need to to get your bag clean. And then um, I, while I'm letting that set for a few seconds, I'll just show you. So I got mine from What Goes Around Comes Around, and this is what our tags look like. They authenticate it, and you know they, they give you all the paperwork of its authentication. So if you ever wanted to resell your bag, you're not selling a counterfeit, you've got an authenticated bag. And then it just comes with all the information about your bag. Um, it gives you a card and you have like a number where it's been authenticated. Um, and then just your Louis Vuitton pamphlets are in here as well. Just the Louis Vuitton stuff. So now everything's been setting here on my bag for about four or five minutes. And so what I'm gonna do is take a moist microfiber rag and just go over the whole bag like I did the exterior of it. And I will focus on areas like right here where dirt and grime can gather. Make sure there's nothing kind of hiding in these little cracks and crevices on my bag. I go around the edges of this because this is where dirt tends to collect on the inside of a handbag but I think you get the gist of what I'm doing here. So now I'm just gonna let that dry. So I'm gonna just hang it up on a chair and let that completely dry. It won't take very long because like I said, the bag is not wet. So it's just slightly damp. All right, now the same, the only difference that I would do with this type of bag is I would use the baby wipe like I did on the other bag and I clean the handles, and I'm, this video is getting long, so I'm just gonna, you know, demonstrate. I would clean the pochetta, make sure I get in all the nooks and crannies here, and I would use the 
Lexol, like I did to clean the whole exterior of the coated canvas. So for this bag, the only difference is, is with the handles and the base of the bag where it is Vachetta leather, I'm gonna use the Apple brand leather conditioner and I just put a little bit onto my microfiber rag and I'm going to just carefully treat the leather and go over the leather. I'm not going to use the Lexol product on the handles on this bag. And this is really nice. It conditions the leather. It stops it from drying out and cracking, but it also does an excellent job of cleaning it. This particular bag sits on the floor a lot because I use this bag for traveling on car trips or even on the airplane because it's got a nice zipper. Um, so it zips closed and this is a great carry-on bag. So I'm gonna condition all the leather, put a little more on the, and go over the whole bottom of the bag. And as you can see, my bag is already pretty clean, but um, I've cleaned this one before. So it wasn't so clean when I got it, but I was able to clean it right up. And again, I got such a great price on this bag from what goes around comes around as well, that it was totally worth it. And this one, I have not used this inside of yet. It doesn't have any ink or dirt inside of it but it was a little bit dirty in there and I used a fabric car upholstery cleaner inside this bag and it was foaming. So I just sprayed it in and I used a microfiber rag, wiped it all around, gotten all the nooks and crannies and then I just let it dry. So yeah, it's really clean in there and that's a good way to take care of this bag. And last but not least, your fabric bags. These are great because I think they're the easiest to clean. So you're going to just need, well, you're going to treat your leather with the leather conditioner. And I like this. Coach makes a great leather conditioner too, but it's considerably more. So I always go for just the Apple brand. And then um, I just use my Nature's Miracle or I use my car upholstery cleaner for fabric upholstery. And you can get it from the automotive section. I like a foaming one. And I just pull the inside of my bag out like this. And I spray my bag down. I avoid the leather handles. It's kind of, they're kind of tucked underneath the bag right now. And again, I let that set for about five minutes. And then I just go ahead and get the whole exterior of the bag, especially underneath. Again, wipe the bag down so all the foaming cleanser is sitting on the bag. Get into any pockets. After four or five minutes, I just wipe it all down. The bag smells so fresh. And then I just let it set on the towel and air dry and my bags look as good as new. So anyway, this is almost a half an hour long, so I am going to go. But if there's anything else you'd like to know, like how I clean my Sepiano leather bags, I mean, I've got all kinds of tricks. I like to keep my bags looking like new. I don't like to carry a dirty handbag. So anyways, I hope that this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them below in the comment section. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.